Hi there, Terry Hashimoto, getting ready for the 2017 PGA show. Looking forward to seeing everybody. Basically, I think this is a big versus small scenario. On the left, Bob Toski, considered pound for pound the longest hitter in his day. Hit it around 280 plus. A lot of pressure on the lead side. Go straight to the trail heel. Breaks suddenly on the lead side. And the recoil effect goes straight back to the trail toe. This is very typical what you're seeing with the longer hitters on tour today that aren't that big. Jimmy Walker, Justin Thomas, and so on. On the right, Sir Nick Faldo. What can you say about Sir Nick? One of the best golfers in the history of the game. Three-time Open, three-time Augusta champion. Big man, though. Totally different size than Bob. Both hit it in their day around over 280. And pressure goes straight to the trail side and basically shifts laterally to the lead toe and then clears to the lead heel. Two different ways, two different sizes. One's definitely easier on your body. I'll let you decide. But what's interesting about both these traces is that in their irons, you won't see the long hitter who's small use a Z trace in their irons. It'll be more lateral or linear. So I think the advantage that a big player can have is that uh, they don't have to change their, their trace too much. Their, their pattern of pressure doesn't have to change during the shots too much. Terry Hashimoto with Body Track Sports. Have a great day. See you at the show.